The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have paid an emotional tribute to the victims of the Christchurch terror attack today as they signed a book of condolence on behalf of the royal family, writing, We are with you. Prince Harry and a heavily pregnant Meghan visited New Zealand House in London this afternoon to pay their respects to the 50 people massacred as they prayed at two mosques on Friday. They put their knowledge of Maori customs to good use, flawlessly greeting delegates with a traditional hangi nose rub before signing the Book of Condolence with the word Orohanui, which loosely translates to with deep affection. Meghan, who cradled her bump throughout the visit, wore a pair of earrings featuring a crossed feathers design given to her by the country's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Both dressed solemnly in black, the pair spoke with the High Commissioner of New Zealand, Jerry Maybury, before laying floral bouquets and quietly reading other tributes left behind by members of the public. The couple were personally invited by New Zealand officials to represent the British royals at the event, having been the last members of the family to visit the country when they toured the South Pacific in October. The Duke and Duchess met with members of staff at the High Commission to discuss their response to the atrocity. Meghan said we are with you, adding she was just devastated by the atrocity, as she cradled her baby bump. Harry said it's just very sad as he asked about their connections to Christchurch. Sir Jerry said, we are overwhelmed by the tremendous amount of support we've received from across the UK. Their Royal Highness's visit is reflective of this outpouring of support and it was wonderful to welcome them to New Zealand House. The Duke and Duchess are among the first to sign the Book of Condolence, which opened to the public on Tuesday. They will also meet members of staff at the High Commission to discuss their response to the atrocity. Brenton Tarrant, 28, from Australia, slaughtered worshippers as they prayed inside mosques in Christchurch on Friday, having outlined his anti-immigrant motives in a manifesto posted online minutes before his attack. On Saturday, Tarrant appeared in court in Christchurch charged with one count of murder and was remanded until April 5. Police said further charges were expected to follow. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said the suspect held a gun license which enabled him to legally obtain semi-automatic weapons. She said the country's gun laws would change in the wake of the attack. Of those killed in the massacre, 42 died at the Masjid Al Noor Mosque in Central Christchurch, seven were killed at the suburban Linwood Masjid Mosque, and one person died at Christchurch Hospital. In the video live streamed by Tarrant, a man inside a mosque appears to say welcome brother as a gunman approaches. A number of improvised explosive devices found on a vehicle after the shootings were defused by police. Mr. Bush, who had earlier called the attack a very well-planned event, said the suspect was not known to police either in New Zealand or Australia. British security sources said there were no apparent UK links to the attack. Facebook said it had removed 1.5 million videos of the attack worldwide in the 24 hours after the shootings. 1. 2 million of which were blocked at upload. On Tuesday, it said no one had reported the video while it was being streamed live with the first report coming 29 minutes after the broadcast began and 12 minutes after it had ended. Chris Sonderby, Vice President and Deputy General Counsel at Facebook, said the video was viewed fewer than 200 times during the live broadcast.
He said the company was working around the clock to stop the video being posted on its site. Ms. Ardern has said authorities hope to release all the bodies by Wednesday and police said authorities were working with pathologists and coroners to complete the task as soon as they can. As the nation continues to come to terms with the scale of the tragedy, Ms. Ardern vowed action would be taken to ensure such an atrocity could never happen again. On Monday, New Zealand's cabinet made in principle decisions about gun law reform, with further details to be announced by next Monday. An inquiry into the events leading up to the attacks will also take place. There is anger that this happened here, she said. There are many questions that need to be answered. The assurance that I give you is that they will be. New Zealand Police Commissioner Mike Bush previously said police were confident one person was responsible for the shootings. That doesn't mean there weren't possibly people in support and that is to form an important part of our investigation, he added.